Just like that. Luckily, after the dance thing... After the puppet show. <clears throat> after the puppet show, you now learn how to attack. If you hit A, you do a spin kick. Doesn't do a whole lot right now. Just stuns the kids, makes them cry for a couple of seconds. Which is a good thing, cause we fucking suck and we deserve to, to get kicked up the ass by a fucking wooden kid. By the way, these kids are fucking magicians. Try to go through them. Well, try to go above them with a balloon while they're trying to throw a brick. You'll see some fucking action. They're gonna make that brick go up into space. They completely annihilate its gravitational pull. It's either the fucking island that's doing it, or the kids. It can't be anything else. Physics do exist in this place after all. Once you get to this part, just hold on to the balloon, and there you go, you're now in the roller coasters. This place is kinda fast, and I really hate going fast in Sega games. Because... I usually miss things like pits which you're supposed to jump over, or some kind of blockades which you're supposed to duck, well, duck through. It really annoys me, and the worst case of it is Battletoads, but I think we'll get to that point when we get to the game. Oh boy. But other than that, if you know what you're doing, this part isn't all that difficult. Just keep riding that damn roller coaster, duck under the bars, and jump over the pits. I think these are the last pits you're supposed to jump over. Yeah, these are the last. Now this is a part which can really throw you off for a couple of moments. Maybe. Okay, I lied. It might throw you off for a good chunk of time. See what you gotta do? You gotta collect power-ups. Now we randomly appear out of rockets. And if you don't collect enough of them, well, you just won't get out of here. Problem is... Why in the holy mother of fuck do I need to get power-ups to beat an endurance match? It don't even help me beat the shit out of that snobby bitch. Oh well. Just, you just gotta avoid the damn fireworks. Cause they do hit. The, the fire. The fire and the rocket. They both hit. And you also gotta avoid the minecarts. But it's impossible to know when they're coming. Like you're supposed to hear them. But usually the firework explosion sound drowns out the minecart sound. So you don't really know it's coming until the screen starts to rumble. Seems like shit is going down. We're turning into a fucking donkey. Kick the shit out of that bastard and move on. I don't know if the donkeys can hit you, but the damn seagulls can! Whose fucking brilliant idea was to put seagulls in here as enemies? And whose brilliant idea was to put child molesters in here as enemies as well? I mean, what the fuck? What, what are those black things? I did see the movie. Or I should see the, or maybe I should say cartoon, I don't know. Let's call it a movie for now. But I still don't fucking know what the hell those black things are supposed to be. Better not mess around with those black fucks. It sounds really racist, I know, but how else am I supposed to call them? They are black, they are dangerous, well, they don't seem humanoid, that's for sure, because they can jump higher than anyone. 
Plus we disappear like a bunch of smokes whenever you hit them. This is really fucked up. Oh, in this part, don't even bother going through here. He's just gonna kick you off a damn cliff. At least you can kick the shit out of the seagulls. That's a good thing. I like getting revenge on the seagulls. I tried to go through here again. Thought I could kick the shit out of him. But no, you can't. Don't bother. Fuck the goddamn seagulls. Even these black shadowy things. Why don't we just call him Shadow Man? That's gonna be less racist and strange and shit. Yeah, let's call him like that. So, at the very least, the Shadow Men aren't as bad as the goddamn seagulls. They seem to be everywhere and at the worst fucking moment. So you might wonder what the hell you're supposed to do here. You kick the shit out of that coach guy. I, I guess he's a coach. That guy with the red jacket at the beginning. Fat guy? Yeah, that fucker. So we kicked him off and now we're going somewhere, so... Where are we supposed to go? Definitely not to the right. It doesn't matter how much you know about side-scrollers and, and platforming games. You're not supposed to go to the right. You're supposed to go to the left. I'm not sure if those brambles do anything. Probably not. Fuck the seagulls. Fuck them to hell. There we go. I think this is the place. Fucking seagulls. Yeah, I really think this is the place where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. This bastard. Just kick his knee. Kick it a little bit more. There we go. And then this fucking donkey comes out of nowhere and kicks the shit out of his knee. Then you kick him, he falls over, and... You killed him, but you got the badge of bravery. What kind of sense does that make? So we got back home, but Pinocchio's dad is gone. Gone looking for him. Well, isn't that fucking great? Couldn't he just wait a little bit longer? Now we've gone. Now we're going to the to bottom of the ocean. Why? Because we somehow learned. I think it's from a fairy bitch. I don't know. I think we learned from her that we gotta go to the bottom of the ocean because Geppetto is eaten by Monstro. Apparently that's the name of the big whale. I never knew it had a name. But now I do. Strange, isn't it? So yeah. Now we got this counter for clams. What good is that for? Am I supposed to get clams? No, you're not supposed to get clams, but they do help you out. You see, the clams here are only meant to hold you down. They're like extra weight. Oh, and these things you just gotta hit B, I think. Well, something to keep spitting you out. And you go through. See? I got zero clams, and I ended up going up. I lost weight. What, you don't... you didn't know that? That uh, wood is quite... Quite buoyant, or whatever the word is. Well, you see, the thing is... Wood normally floats instead of drowning. That's why we got clams, so that we would keep drowning. Well, sinking would be the, the, the better word. Fuck, I'm stuttering. But it doesn't matter. You get a, at least one clam and you can go down. Oh, wait, no. You get five clams and then you can go down. I guess the other clams 
weren't weighty enough. Needed some extra grams and shit. But it doesn't matter, you can find them just about anywhere. I thought you can get more than five, but no, you can only have five at a time. Look at this shitload of clams. Can't get more than five. You seem to lose clams every once in a while. I don't get why. Really weird. And these electric eels can go suck a goat. Not the goat's dick, a fucking goat. You seem to be in places where you really don't need them. Let me get the goddamn book. Oh, you just had to give me a good night, a good night zap. God damn it! I keep stuttering over my words. What the fuck is wrong with me today? I didn't drink. I swear. Holy shit! What the fuck? Uh oh. Now it's gonna be fuck. Wanna know how I know that? Watch. Sure is fuck, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't know what the hell I was supposed to do here, but now I get it. You're supposed to grab the tail of the tuna. Why tuna of all things? And then you gotta ju you gotta press jump to swim forward. The swimming sound is really pissing me off, but what do you want? It's a kid's game. Nobody gives a shit about kids. Don't know why. At least they didn't give a shit about sound effects at that point. Maybe they didn't add anything better. You never know. Anyway, keep grabbing the tuna, run away from the fucking whale. You can grab the green one to go a little bit further. Makes you go a little bit faster. Just don't bother grabbing those orange fish. They only growl at you. You can grab a turtle and it goes turbo. Weird. I thought turtles were slow. Oh, I get it. You pull its ass and then it goes fast. Must be some kind of hidden engine starter or some shit. You never know with these goddamn animals. So you keep going and going. Eventually, something will happen, right? I don't know. Yeah, 